Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to work out the length of the hypotenuse in this triangle and we're going to use sin or cos. So first let's look at these two ratios that we learned earlier. So we learned that sine of the angle is opposite divided by hypotenuse and cos of the angle is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Now, here's the triangle we are going to use. Step one is always label which side is the hypotenuse and then which side is adjacent or um, opposite. So, don't have my camera stand today, so you'll have to put up with me holding my phone. So the hypotenuse is the longest side. That's this one. I'm going to label it h 4 hypotenuse there. Next, here is my angle that I care about, the 40 degrees. The side which is opposite this angle is this one, 12. So I'm going to label this opposite. So we now know that we are going to choose the formula that has opposite and hypotenuse. So it's this one. It's sine or sin. OK, so let's write it down. Sin angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. And I'm going to put the numbers in. So the angle is 40. So sin 40 degrees equals. Now the opposite is 12. So that goes on the top of the fraction. The hypotenuse is X. That goes on the bottom of the fraction. So this is where we need to do an extra step before we can solve it. Previously, the number we wanted to find was in the numerator of the fraction. But now the one we want to find is on the denominator. So this is what I recommend. You want to turn this number, the sin 40 number, into a fraction like this. And now we are going to invert both fractions, so turn them both upside down. Here we go. This one becomes x over 12, and this one becomes 1 over sin 40. Now, 1 over sin 40, we're going to work that out on our calculator. Here we go. On my calculator, I'm going to use the fraction button. So, Here's the fraction, 1 goes on top, and sin 40 goes on the bottom, like this. So that's my decimal number. Let me write it down. OK. And this is what equals x divided by 12. So now the same steps as last time. You're going to take this decimal number and times it by 12. And that will equal your side. So we're going to do the same as we did before on our calculator. Instead of typing this number in again, I'm going to use the answer button. So answer times 12, and that is your value of x. So let's round it off. x is 18.7 centimetres. So there it is. Our hypotenuse was 18.7.